so I'm back and first thing is I decided not to use this brush so I know I showed it earlier and I just ended up not using it and also if you're wondering about this which I didn't end up using either um, let me know and I will tell you about it it's um, well I guess I could anyway it's a ceramic palette that I got I saw Emily Illustrator using it, and I thought, well, that looks cool, and uh, yeah, it really is. It's it's heavy. It's probably about two pounds, um, and you can, you know, put your, water solid crayons, watercolors, you know, all that jazz. Um, these are little spaces where you can, like, put water, water solid crayon shavings, for example, in here. Um, you know, different paints from like the paint tubes. It's really great. So, um, I don't remember. I've had this for a while. I don't remember how much it is, but, uh, if anybody's curious about this, um, I can do a separate review on it. Just let me know. Um, and watch how hard you set it down. <laughs> I have a fit if I was to drop that on the floor, it would probably snap in half or something. So anyway, back to this. So this is after doing all of this is what my water looks like, which is interesting. When you, I combined all these colors, I found that to be very interesting. It's kind of a, like a great lavender, uh, but that's interesting. So again, I don't think these are in order in the description because well this mark pass for flesh tint this does not pass from for magenta at all <laughs> like look at that that's like a peach or something there's no way magenta would be like maybe this one or this one you know so I don't think and there are names and numbers as I said before in the description there are numbers to go with names but i really don't believe that these were put in order so there's that and there was no like inserts you know telling me what's what which is it's annoying honestly but that's why it's important sometimes to do a swatch because that way i know these are in the same order as in here that's my best advice when you run into that situation. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous tones. I'm not, I'm not sure I would use gray too much on a skin tone. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I haven't yet really done that. I'm still somewhat of a novice when it comes to skin. I, that's something I'm still working on. Um, but... I really love, like, this is a great peach color, as I said before. Um, I love these more purplish colors because they're great for dark skin tones, as is this one and this one and, and that one. Um, these are great for, like, the mid-tones. Um, this is beautiful. And this is watercolor paper by uh, Canton, I believe. Uh, and it's, oh, I used the rough side, oops. There's, most of them have a rough side and a smooth side, and I think I accidentally used the rough side, which is fine. The the difference is, and I know this has nothing to do with this, but the, the rough side, the smooth side, the rough side is like when you want the water to go a little more loosely. Like, say if you're doing a, um, a loose landscape, like, uh, you know, like a, rolling hill or something of that sort you, you know you don't mind it kind of just flowing out or around and stuff if you want the things to be a little more precise then use the smooth side because the water won't have these pits sort of pulling it in all kind of different directions that's just food for thought and i don't know if it's cold press or hot press i know there's a difference but that is something I'm still learning about. So, yes, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, the company is uh, from Germany, which they seem to be doing a lot of 
uh, watercolors these days, which is fine. I would take Germany over China any day. Um, but yeah, this is what the thing looks like. Sorry for the reflection there. That's my ring light. <laughs> and um, it's kind of what the back looks like. And that's pretty much how it came. So these are gorgeous, guys. For 25 bucks, I, I, 20, well, between 22 and 25, depending. I would say it's absolutely worth it. I'm going to play around with these and see what happens. But yeah, I would, I would get these. They're, they're gorgeous. Um, I would just go to Amazon and look up the description and you'll see numbers with the names in the product description. But here, you know, it's kind of anyone's guess. You know, you're just going to kind of have to hazard a guess and look at the name and go, well, what does that name remind me of? Like, this would be like flesh for me. So, that's my best advice how to handle that. So, anyway, um, stay safe, everyone. Happy painting, happy coloring. You know, just make art and have fun.